dear students happy day welcome to class 3 evs before starting the new lesson i have a few questions to you do you love to play with your toys yeah you will enjoy it isn't it yeah are you giving any food or water to your toys no are they growing with you no because they are non living things we are living things our next topic is living and non living things we see a wide varieties of things around us some are living whereas others are non living things in this lesson we are going to learn about living things non living things and difference between the living and non living things in this picture you can observe many living things and non living things can you list out it yeah boy yes girl has yeah good dog rabbit cat the bird one you missed what it is yeah of course plant plants also the living thing yeah what are the non living things are available in this picture stone yeah house water yeah these are the few non living things in this picture living things they will move from one place to other and they will grow they will breathe air and they need food they feel and respond to changes around them they will reproduce their young ones early eggs yeah first we are going to see about the living things move why we should move from one place to other yeah humans or animals they move from place to place in search of food and shelter sometimes to escape from enemies also we move from one place to other place humans and animals use the all legs to move but the fish they use fins and their body to move snakes use their body to move so each of the organisms they have a special type of locomotory organ either it may be a leg or a wing or a fins and tails or a body so we are moving from one place to other place with the help of legs yeah but what about the non plants are they moving from one place to other no never why the plants also the living things but why it shouldn't move because we are moving from one place to other place for search of food but the plants can prepare their own food they are making their own food so they do not need to have to move to search for food but the leaves and flowers may move what a good example touch me not plant you may feel the touch of, enjoy the touch me not plant mimosa the scientific name is mimosa when we touch the plant it will close their leaves after some times it will open it will show the movement when we touch so these are the few examples even the rain tree colloquially we'll call it as tungu munji maram that plants close their leaves after sunset 
once the sun rises it will open their leaves this is also one type of movement we can observe in the plants but it will not move from one place to other place even though it's not moving it's a living thing non living things you may ask my toy is moving my toy car is moving my ball is moving but what is the major difference between the living and non living things the non living things cannot move on their own they cannot move on their own the living things can move on their own the book or a toy or a chair if you wish to move someone moves them it will move but it cannot move on your own okay students we'll see about the growth and breadth of living and all living things in the next video until then bye dears